Coming over to play Growing a little Every day Here he comes with all his friends They've got stories, got time to Franklin and the Tooth Fairy. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoe. He also had lots of friends, and his best friend, Bear, was just like him. But one day, Franklin found out that he and Bear were very different. Three, two, one, go! Yay, it's a tie! That means we both win. <sighs> that school bus is taking forever. Yeah, waiting always makes me hungry. <laughs> me too. Ouch! What is it? Did you bite your tongue? Uh-uh. I just lost my first tooth. See? Did it hurt? Not much. Will your mom be mad? No way. Baby teeth are supposed to fall out to make room for the grown-up ones. Oh. Hey, look, there he is. <laughs> Whee! Uh -oh. Guess what, everybody? <laughs> yeah. So, when did it happen? Have you still got it? Well, let's see it. It's even bigger than the tooth I lost. I need to keep this really safe. But you said you were going to get a grown-up tooth soon. Why do you want to keep your old one? <sighs> For the tooth fairy. Who's the tooth fairy? <laughs> <laughs> good one, Franklin. Yeah, good one. But I'm not joking. You really don't know about the tooth fairy, do you? No. What does she do? Well, at night, before you go to sleep, you put your baby tooth under your pillow. Then, while you're sleeping, the tooth fairy flies in and takes the tooth away. With a wave of her wand. But she always leaves a nice present. One of her own teeth? No, silly. A real present. Lots of times money. But what does the tooth fairy do with all the teeth? I don't know. Maybe she keeps them in a jar. Or maybe she makes them into a necklace. Neat! Uh, um, can we get back to the presents? I wonder what the Tooth Fairy will leave me. <sighs> no teeth, no Tooth Fairy. No presents. Your scrapbook is really filling up, Franklin. Yeah, I guess. Is something the matter, Franklin? You're very quiet tonight. <sighs> I don't have any teeth. Well, that's all right. Neither do we. Turtles don't need teeth. But I want teeth. Turtles don't need teeth to eat the things we eat. But young turtles do need their sleep. Now, off to bed. Okay. Good night. Good night, dear. Even though I don't need teeth, I still wish I had them. 
Look, Mr. Owl, this is what the Tooth Fairy left me. A brand new book. Very nice, Bear. You must be pleased. Losing a baby tooth is a sign you're growing up. When my first tooth fell out, I was eating a carrot. And the Tooth Fairy gave me the biggest box of crayons I've ever seen. I was chewing through a giant log when my tooth fell out, and I got a pretty necklace. And I've lost two baby teeth, so I'm really growing up. <laughs> well, I'd say you're all growing up. Hey, Franklin, did I show you the book I got from the Tooth Fairy? Yeah, Bear, on the bus this morning. Oh, yeah. Franklin? Why didn't you know anything about the Tooth Fairy? I guess because turtles don't have teeth. Really? Let's see. Me too. Yeah, open up. You're right. It's empty. Not even one? Boy, that's too bad, Franklin. Turtles don't need teeth to eat the things we eat. Yeah, but then how can you tell if you're growing up? I don't know. Okay. Now, how do you spell present? P R E S E N T. Dear Tooth Fairy, this is a turtle tooth. You may not have seen one before. Please leave a present, Franklin. Hmm. So, this is a turtle tooth. It's really a rock, but it looks like a turtle tooth. I mean, I think it does, if turtles had teeth. Anyway, the Tooth Fairy might not know. Are you sure it's okay to trick the Tooth Fairy just to get a present? No, but a present from the Tooth Fairy will let me know I'm growing up. I see. Good night, Mom. Good night, Franklin. Now you have to go to sleep quickly, Sam, so the Tooth Fairy can come, okay? Mom! Mom! The Tooth Fairy didn't leave a present, just this. What's it say? What's it say? Dear Franklin, sorry, but turtles don't have teeth. Good try. Your friend, the Tooth Fairy. P.S. I'm sure there are other ways to tell you're growing up. But how? Well, you can tell you're growing up because you can count by twos and tie your shoes. It's not the same. Hello, dear. How was school? Okay, I guess. Well then, ready to go? Go where? To see Dr. Bear. Bear's mom? But I'm not sick. I know, but I thought it was time for your checkup. Watch the stew, will you, dear? We shouldn't be too long. Shoe fly stew? My pleasure. No samples. <laughs> Tea. That's good. Now we'll check your reflexes. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. It's time to hop on the scales. We'll soon see if you've been eating your greens. Very good. Everything looks just fine. You're a healthy young turtle. You can put your shell back on now. Are we finished? I think there's just one more thing Dr. Bear needs to do. Don't you, Dr. Bear? Ah, uh, yes. Let's see how much you've grown. I need you to stand perfectly straight. <laughs> now, now, no cheating. There. Hmm. Come and look at this, Mrs. Turtle. What? What? Why, Franklin, you are growing up. I am? How 
How can you tell? <laughs> Look, this is how big you are now. And this is where you were last year. Then I am growing up, just like Bear. Please don't tell him, Dr. Bear. I want to tell him myself on the bus first thing in the morning. My lips are sealed, Franklin. Thanks, Dr. Bear, for everything. Glad I could help. Ready for some shoe fly stew? You bet. If Dad didn't eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Franklin, or you'll be late for the bus. Perhaps you should leave it here. You can always show Bear later. No way! It's the best present you ever gave me. Uh, there. It fits. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Bye, Franklin. I'm coming! Bear, guess what? The Tooth Fairy didn't come because turtles don't have teeth. And that's okay, because I'm growing up anyways. I used to be this tall, now I'm this tall. I've grown so much in... <laughs> Franklin, slow down. Sorry. Oh, and I've even got a present. Neat. It's just like mine. <laughs> Let me guess. Bus rides make you hungry. Yeah, kind of. Franklin takes the blame. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes, but he had never had a job of his very own. There! All finished. Just wait for the paint to dry. Then vroom, vroom. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Mole. Now here's a fine bit of workmanship. Wait till you see how fast it goes. Vroom, vroom, so fast vroom. we'll need a horn to warn everybody to get out of the way. Honk, honk. <laughs> you never know. Maybe I'll find just the thing on my travels. That'd be great. Ah, uh, Mole, come to help me plant my flowers? Actually, I've come to borrow your wheelbarrow. You see, I'm going on a holiday tomorrow. Lucky you. Yes, but I have to get my... 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 my <laughs> petunia patch all taken care of before I go. I could look after it for you. Well, now, it's a big responsibility, you know. A garden needs watering every day. Perhaps someone a little older might be more suitable. But I am older. I, I mean, I'm not little anymore, right guys? Yep, all grown up. Just like us. I can take care of your garden for you, Mr. Mole. <laughs> oh, all right, you've got the job. <laughs> Are you sure you're going, Mr. Mole? Sounds like you've got a cold. Allergies. And I'm not sure what it is I'm allergic to. Oh, well. Thanks for the wheelbarrow. Anytime. Drop by my place tomorrow afternoon. I will. There. So that's three things to remember. Collect the mail, fill the bird bath, and water the petunias. And that's every day. No forgetting your duties now. Don't worry, Mr. Mole. I'll look after everything. Thank you, Franklin. With you looking after things, I could really enjoy my holiday. <coughs> Maybe these sneezes will take a holiday, too. Bye for now. Bye. That's two. And last, water the petunia patch. Hey, Franklin, you're supposed to water the flowers, not yourself. Very funny. We're going kite flying up on Hollyhock Hill. Want to come? I better not, Bear. I still have to finish watering. Maybe you can come after? Maybe. Hey, Beaver, wait up. It's just a silly old kite. <laughs> 
kites can be fun. Wait for me, guys! Come on, Bear, it's my turn. You already had three turns. <laughs> and you had four. All right. Watch how high I can make it go. Beaver, watch out! Huh? Oh. <gasps> okay. Who put this bush here? Nice hat, Beaver. <laughs> I guess we're not flying your kite anymore. That's okay. My tummy tells me it's almost supper time. Supper time? Oh, no. I still have to finish watering Mr. Mole's petunias. It's too late for that now. Don't worry. You watered most of them. Yeah, they'll be okay. I'll just water them two times tomorrow. My hat, Sam. Where's my hat? I'm gonna be late for the school bus if I don't find it. <laughs> there it is. And I wanted to water Mr. Mole's garden this morning. But it looks like the rain clouds are gonna do it for me. The bus. See you after school, Sam. It was a terrific day, Sam. And you know, it didn't rain once. Oh no, Mr. Mole's flowers. I forgot. I'll just have to give them lots and lots of water tomorrow. Don't forget to remind me in the morning. Okay, Sam? <sighs> morning, Sam. Wasn't there something I was supposed to remember today? That's it! The big baseball rematch! And this time we're going to win! We won the game! We won the game! Did you see Fox's face when I caught that pop fly? <laughs> yeah! He nearly tripped on his tail! Sounds like quite the game! There's lemonade on the counter. Help yourselves. I've just got to mail this letter. <gasps> letter? Come on, guys! My goodness, what's the rush? <gasps> Uh-oh, Mr. Mold's not gonna like this. What happened, Franklin? I don't know. I guess I just kind of forgot. I know. Maybe if we give them lots and lots of water, the flowers will spring back up again. Good idea, come on! We'll just let the water run all night and meet back here before school tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, no. Quick, Bear, turn off the hose. Hey, guys. I can fix this. Good one. What a mess. It wouldn't be so bad if the flowers weren't so droopy. Hey, I've got an idea. I brought these straws for art class today. So? So, maybe we could use them to hold up the flowers. Great, let's try it. I uh, think it looks better. Yeah, if you kind of scrunch up your eyes, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know, guys. But what else can we do? Not much now. We better hurry or we'll be late for school. Mr. Mole's coming back before supper. What'll I do, Bear? All right, class. You can put your books away and we'll do some crafts. What shall we make today? How about you, Franklin? Any ideas? I, uh... Flowers! Let's make paper flowers! I hope the 
this will be enough. So, what do you think? Well, it looks like a bunch of paper flowers stuck in a great big mud pie. <sighs> all in all, a terrific holiday. <sighs> but it's nice to be back. Ah, hello there, Franklin. Hi, Mr. Mole. Here's your... Mail! Good! A nice big pile. Just what I like to see. And here's something I'm sure you'll be happy to see. Thank you very much, Mr. Mole. But you really shouldn't have... Nonsense! You've earned it. Well, I'd better be on my way home. Mr. Mole! Mr. Mole, stop! I... I don't deserve my present. I ruined your garden. I forgot the petunias. I tried to fix it, but it's... Now, now, Franklin, I'm sure things aren't that bad. <gasps> my garden! I'm sorry, Mr. Mole. I guess I didn't do a very good job. It is quite a mess. But I'm sure we can fix it if we work together. You mean you're not mad at me? I am very upset. But you know what? It took a lot of courage to tell me what happened. That was a very grown-up thing to do. So what say we get to work? I can do the planting if you do the digging. It's a deal. Coming through! Yay! See you later, guys! Those seeds you brought from your mother certainly grew fast. And you know what? I think it was the petunias I was allergic to. I haven't sneezed once since we planted these sunflowers. I'm glad, Mr. Mole. And thanks to your help, Franklin, the garden looks even better than before. Well, I do have two green thumbs. <laughs> <laughs>